you are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. We thank you and we praise you and we give you all the glory, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. If you are online, I just want you to praise. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Just praise God, hallelujah. Just praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's a mighty God. We give him the praise and the honor. It's glorious. There's no one like Jehovah. It's Jehovah Nishi. Hallelujah. Jehovah Shalom. And we all need that peace right now. And we ask God that God will bless us with that peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you and we give you praise. We give you all the glory, Lord Jesus. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. All those that are, on, that are online right now, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. We say, Father God, wherever the people are that have connected to faith and mercy, Lord, protect them. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Father God, let your spiritual radar locate them, Lord, for their blessing for today in the name of Jesus. That, Lord, they will not go in vain, Lord. That, Father God, that we glorify you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank God for our life. We want to thank God that God has given us the strength, to her. Lord Jesus, to stand here today to praise you. We know, Lord, you are protecting your people. We know, Lord, you are guiding us no matter what the enemy is doing, Lord Jesus. It's a mighty God. I want to let you know God is good. He will not forsake us. No matter what the trials and tribulations that we are going through. It's a God that will never forsake you. I want you to know if you are in your home right now. And know that God will not forsake you. He loves you and He cares for you. No matter where you are right now and you are connected. God is there with you. It's a mighty God. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your blessing. We will never give up on you, Lord, because we know you are the one that is leading us. And wherever you take us, so we shall go in the name of Jesus. Father God, we remember when you said, do not despise a small beginning. Father God, we remember today. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your advice. We thank you for what you are leading us to. We thank you for our life, Lord Jesus. We thank you that, Lord, you are protecting your people. You are guiding them. You are leading them to the right path. Sir. That they will not fall in the trap of the enemy. That whatever the enemy is planning, that pain that the enemy takes will be for the enemy and will not be for any one of us in the name of Jesus. We are covered in the blood of Jesus. Whatever sickness or arrows of sickness that the enemy portray against us, it shall go back to tender in the name of Jesus. It's a mighty God. I want to encourage you to believe. Let your faith get stronger. Let you be transformed. Let your mind be renewed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be a new beginning for you. A new creation in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank God for our life. It's a mighty God. Father God, we thank you. We just want to praise him. We glorify his name. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. He's glorious. He's the provider. He's mighty. My God, we adore you, Lord. We adore your presence. Hallelujah. We adore your glory. We adore your beautiful creation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to have increased faith in the Lord. That the Lord is with you and he will not forsake you. No matter the situation, you must always serve the Lord. Whether someone is around or not around, you must always serve the Lord. You must have the zeal for the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the end time where we need the Lord the most. We must encourage our children to love the Lord. We are in the end time. We must not be out of the Lord, or we must be in the Lord. Hallelujah. So that we are protected, so we are guided in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father God, we thank you. We come against every care, every struggle, every calamity. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Spirit be with us. May the Holy Spirit never leave us. No matter what we have done, repent of the ways. No matter what is tribulation, repent of your will. And know that God cares for you. It's a mighty God. Just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise the Lord. Give Him praise and glorify Him. Hallelujah. Glorify the Lord. is a mighty God. Glorify the Lord. is great. Father God, we praise you. We honor you. We honor your presence. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Hallelujah, oh Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory. Father God, no matter what the hours from the enemy, we know you are protecting us. We will never give up, Lord Jesus. We will never give up on your name, Jesus Christ. We will never give up on you. No matter the situation. Let your power win, Lord Jesus. And let your glory overflow in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy overflow over the life of the people, Lord. You are the God of abundant grace. And your grace is sufficient for us. And we know God that you are blessing us. Let the showers of blessing rest upon your people. Oh, Christ, my God, Jesus Christ. We adore you. We thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Kadeda do 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 Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Yeah, so do, 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 do. I want you to make a take this opportunity to pray God. Even when you are home, even when you are lying down, no matter where you are, take this opportunity and pray God. And know that it's a God that is so good. It's a God that will never forsake us. Ah, my see it is. It is worthy of your praise. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Marco, do, 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 Yes, Lord Jesus. You are faithful, God. You are glorious, God. And we know, Lord Jesus, you are mighty. Creator of the universe. The great I am. We give him all the glory. It's our strength. It's our shield. Oh, Karabati, Mando kada la baba yando do do ya kado do 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 hofta Lord we hope in you and we know our expectation shall never be cut off Mafia sokodo robota we want to thank God we give him praise hallelujah Lord Jesus Maka sokoda la baba thank you Jesus thank you Lord Hallelujah. I pray that God cover you with the blood of Jesus. God cover your family with the blood of Jesus. And wherever you are, stay connected. And the Lord will protect you. And the Lord is your strength. Be empowered now more than ever before to serve the Lord. Be empowered to stand for Christ. And don't give up. God is for you. Hallelujah. I am so grateful that we are here today. I'm thankful that we are able to open the house of the Lord. There's so much going on. We know that. But we are thankful we don't have lockdown. 
Hallelujah. At least we are able to open the house of the Lord. But we remember that the Lord already prepared us for this time. I remember when the man of God always said, Even if there is nobody in the house of the Lord, I shall pray the word of God like there are so many people here. Hallelujah. We have to follow restriction, but for your safety, we want to make sure you are protected. Even though we don't have people here, we know we're going to serve the Lord like never before. When we pray the word of God, like there are many people here. Like the man of God always say, so it's happening now. And we want to thank God. We want to give God all the praise and all the glory. And we are grateful. We do not despise small beginning. And we know it will soon come to pass. That coronavirus will have to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we are thankful. We are joyous. We are excited. That no matter what the situation. That we will still praise the Lord. It is our calling and our purpose. Hallelujah. In Jesus name we pray. I just want to welcome the man of God to take over the platform. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Let's welcome the man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, family. Hallelujah. Amen. I know all of you are, are awake this morning, full of energy, Amen. full of fire. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I believe uh, God is doing something in this season that will help you appreciate Him more. Amen. Appreciate those who are around you more. Amen. Appreciate the people who you get close to more. Amen. This is what God is doing this season. It's bringing you closer to your family than you ever known before. Amen. It's bringing you closer to your husband than you ever known before. Amen. The time that you used to have, that you were, uh, should I say, forsaking those times. You neglect those days. Now God will make it happen for you. One-on-one -on -one with you and your family. I am excited today because it is God's will that you will hear a powerful word of God Amen. and your life will transform. And it's about to transform because the life that you do before, you will do no longer. Amen. But now you must adopt to a new system, a new lifestyle. And it will not be easy, but you will do it because you have adopted to a new system since you were born. You have never stopped adopting to a new system. You adapt to a new system every time. You look at it when you were born. You adapt to a system where you sit, people come and, and play with you and greet you. Then you begin to recognize your uh, the potential of grabbing things, holding things, moving. Little by little, you begin to crawl. From crawling, you are adapting to crawl. From crawling to walking, you adapt to walking. Then you adapt to run. Then you adapt to do other things. You adapt to becoming a teenager. You've been adopted. Every single way that God has given you strength and, and, uh, and the anointing, you have been made it through. So this too shall pass. This is part of your involvement to involve, to, to transfigure, to be transformed, to come to a new light. This is what you are doing right now. Bible said, and he became another man. You are becoming another woman, another man, yet in the same body. By God. So do not be afraid. It's a new season. Some of you, you're not used to sitting in the same place for five hours. You're not used to sitting in the same place for ten hours. Or even in the same community with somebody else. But God said, I must teach you how to have patience. How to get along with other people and, and, and know the difference. It's about recognizing the next person next to you, who they are as human beings. We have forgotten about all this. But I believe where two or more are gathered, at this precise moment, we're all gathered. Be it in a separate house, where we're all gathered. Be it in the house of Joseph, in the house of faith. Or in the house of Jeremiah, 
We are all gathered. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. We are, we are separate in different houses, but we are gathered. And because of that, God is answering our prayer Amen. today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The yoke of the enemy to separate you from your God will not manifest. That yoke must break. That yoke must not continue, must not manifest itself to something different. Amen. It must break. And I believe you are part of the, the resource. Amen. And the connection to break it today. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid of what the enemy is doing. Focus on your God that is doing something. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God praise. As we come down to the last part of the series. Hallelujah. This is the series we're in. The double favor series. He said, Man of God, how am I being double favored in this season, in this season of my life? Where in the month of March is calamities. There were others that went through what you are going through right now. There was worse. There were plagues in the land many years back that wiped out a whole people. But God said, I will raise me a people. You are part of that raising up. You are part of that people that God is lifting up. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, others who have come, they have, they have passed on their own way. They have given their own time. We must also suffer a little while. It's only a little while. Right? If you know your scriptures, you know that uh, 1 Peter 5 10 is concerned. Only a little while. You shall surely transform. Amen. You shall surely be restored. Amen. And you shall surely be settled. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to. Hallelujah. But there's somebody watching this program right now. Amen. You are being settled today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It don't look like it. But you are being settled. When God was building this, this earth. It don't look like the way it looks now. But when God finished. He said let there be light. There is surely light coming to your house. Hallelujah. There is surely restoration of his light coming to your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You may not appreciate it at this time. Hallelujah. It is the same thing for those who are cooking. When you are cooking a delicious meal, you gather all the ingredients. Akira Basson Daria. At this time, God is gathering the ingredients for the new decade. And we have been going through it. We just don't know how to how to navigate through it, but we are about to navigate. Because when you're under the oil, you know how to navigate. So when those who are cooking, they bring all the ingredients. They recognize what is good in that part. And what will cause the part to smell good, the aroma. The aroma that will cause your nose to begin to wonder and prepare yourself for the good meal. God Amen. is about to feed his people. Amen. God is about to feed his people. Amen. And when God feeds his people, his people will be filled of them. Hallelujah. Be full. Your belly will be rising up. Hallelujah. Your spiritual belly will be rising up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's some things that you come to know that you never knew before. Hallelujah. When God is finished, there's supernatural encounters that you will get on a daily basis that you never get before. Yes, but understand that it is God's season in God's time. Amen. So don't be afraid. We are only rising up in the favor of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing is about to go to another level. Amen. The anointing over your life is about to go to another level. The anointing over your family is about to go to another level. That's why some of you are having all of this, you know, morning type sickness, which pregnant women have. They have morning sickness. I feel the prophetic anointing falling in my life now to prophesy to you. You might be falling under the morning sickness because you're about to birth something that is on the way coming. Amen. And God has to command your belly to rise up for, for a cohesion. So now you're about to rise up for a moment where you're about to give birth to something that you never thought would be possible. Amen. You never thought that you get to this level. And God said, because you never thought, I'm about to take you to another level. I'm about to open you up. Amen. I'm about to cause you to give birth to a new realm. Amen. To a new idea. Hallelujah. To a new idea. To a new idea. I'm seeing ideas coming into people's minds. Amen. God's about to beautify his people, beautify his people, cause them to begin to shine like never before. But he's asking that you don't be afraid, that you connect with him. 
draw near to him. And as we go to the message, it's really the last message of the month. And part of this amazing series that God has given unto us called Double Favor. And it's really a, a message about, this, this message comes, it's really a message about how God is about to multiply his people. And his revelations are pure, his revelations are, are right on the bone. So if you have pen and paper, please grab yourself a pen and paper as we press on to this idea that God has prepared for us today. And I pray that you have pure of heart. You have pure of mind. And your body will be filled with the Holy Ghost and that you may get an encounter versus His Word. His Word will make you see who He is. Hallelujah. So as we go to the Word, my prayer is that you may be awakened today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Amen. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name, O oh God. We thank you for a wonderful time which you have made for us to come together mm -hmm. and worship you and give you praise. Lord, you are doing something new. And you say for us to continue, to press on to the high calling. Mm -hmm. For you're the one who called those who you have chosen. You have chosen us from the beginning of time. Before we knew who we were, you knew who we were. You knew who we are and we are walking into your anointing, into your plans because it is not about our plans. Mm -hmm. You said according to your word that you know the ending from the beginning. So dear Father, for whatever it is that you have planned, we are walking in it. Amen. You have planned to give us an expected end from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Lord, we are expecting you to move. Whatever way that you want to move, we say that our body is, your, is, is, is for you. Our mind is for you. Our heart is for you. Everything is for you. From the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet is for you. And Lord, we pray that tonight, even this morning, excuse me, even this morning that you may bless us with your prophetic word, bless us with the revelation, bless us with the healing, bless us with the insight. Amen. Lord, I pray that you give us grace. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, one of the beautiful things is when the house of God is quiet, you can literally feel the wind of the Holy Ghost passing around. I pray that you will get that, that experience in your home. I pray that same experience will be into your home. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So on this series called Double Favor, the title is, I Will Multiply Them. My goodness. Now what does multiply mean? Some of us, we're good at math. As for some of us, we're still trying to Figure out what X is in the equation. Hallelujah. Or perhaps God is putting X to some people's situation. He's putting an X to bad habits. Putting an X to, to sickness. Putting an X to this virus. Putting an X to things that you are dealing with that you don't want people to know. He's putting an X to them. Um, He's putting an X to murmurers, gossipers, liars, cheaters. He's putting an X. Somebody, somebody say, He's putting an X. If I have somebody online, to say it's putting an X. Put an X on it. Put an X on it. Hallelujah. You can't go back, put an X on it. You can go forward now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is about to put an X on some people. Put an X to let go on some bad behaviors. And it's always for his good and for his gain. When we look at multiplying, Increased cause of great number. An increased cause of a great number. Now what is increase? Increase is when you have one that God calls by faith for you to have many. God called one out of Abraham and many came. Out of one man, God increased many. The promise that God gave to Abraham, that he will bless him as the sand, and he will bless him as the stars. Those are the same promise of the one above and the one below. Well, some of us, we know mathematics. One plus one equals two. Hallelujah. And God said that I will take the one 
and I will multiply it to increase. And I will take the other to increase. So watch this revelation here. As many who have gone to the grave, many will also come up. As many who are in the stars, many will also come up. You must understand in this season, God is birthing rather than taking away. God is birthing rather than taking away. And when God is taking his birthing, it's causing increase to multiply, to expand, to grow, becoming more in a large number. God wants to calculate. God wants to calculate those who are for him. He has seen his numbers are very low. Talk to me. At this time in the kingdom, God's numbers are very low. And he knew the hearts of man. He knew those who are going astray. And he wants to call them back so his numbers can come up higher. Well, from what I'm getting from the heavenly realm and what God is revealing to me, many of his generals have gone. Many of his generals who he had lifted up, many of his evangelists which he had lifted up, have gone on. And now he's doing a new thing where he's raising up new prophets, new apostles, new workers of the kingdom, and new bishops, and new, new leaders in the kingdom that will begin to speak light and speak life into his people. So, of course, he will multiply. He said, I will multiply them. There is no falling soldier. There is a rising up of an army. There's a rising up of an army. And God said, I'll mount them up. I'll mount them up. I'll cause them to come to a high place. I'll mount them up. I'll mount them up. Now, when we're talking about multiplying, we're still looking at the word spread. <laughs> As this pandemic, this you know, virus has been spreading. You must understand by spiritual revelation when the devil took Jesus to the mountain and showed him all of his blessing, it's because he knew what Jesus had. And the same thing that God is trying to show us if this virus can spread like this. It is time for the Holy Ghost to spread all over the nations of the earth. He said, I will spread among my people. And I will cause them to know me by name. So we are not a people of fear. Because he is about to, about to strengthen and, and, and lengthen the, the, the tent. He's about to strengthen and lengthen the tent. It's about to place his, his arm to a new level. He is about to enter into the earth and move among his people. He's about to spread. Another word for spread is expand. He's about to expand himself on his people. Creating a new breed of humanity. One that's never been seen before intellectual ability that never been heard of before, but it's about to spread. It's about to create a new breed. Whenever God begins to create a new breed of mankind, he never goes back to the same recipe. Well, we see this when God created Adam and Eve. The way God created Adam was not the same way how God created Eve. It was a different form of spreading was a different form of addition. Well, what is coming now is that God is looking at a different form because the enemy has found ways to enter into mankind's activities. My mind is not your mind. My ways are not your ways. But he said he's going to do things in a new way. God said, I will reproduce. When I reproduce, it will not be the way how you think I'll reproduce. The way God reproduced in the 90s, the way God reproduced in the early 2000s, it was different. Now we're entering to a new decade that God is reproducing a people that are far different. 
<laughs> He's producing a deal of people. And we're excited for it. I know some of you may not be excited for what's going on now in the, in the, in the, in the life. We must understand that God has to spread. It has to awaken a people. When God wanted to spread his new ideas, he called upon Noah. Noah was not ready, but God called upon Noah, and Noah was made ready, and God spread with, with Noah. When God called upon Moses, Moses was not ready, but God used him, and God caused him to spread across the nations. And so I believe today, God is going to use you. God is going to use his people to cause a spread. I call it spiritual pandemic. <laughs> spiritual pandemic is what's getting ready to take place. In the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 36, he said, he let them out perform wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and at the Red Sea and for 40 years in the wilderness. God performed. Performed what? He performed wonders and signs in the land of Egypt. All over the nations of the world, God is performing signs. But this is how God works. By spiritual revelation, if you remember, when Jesus walked into a room and there was a young lady, a young child that was laying on the bed. He told the people, he said, this child is not dead. He said, this child is alive. And then he went about calling the child's name and the child sneezed and came back alive. All God is doing in this season is causing things that enemy says they are dead, he causing them to come back alive. Because just around the nation of the world, he has to use a different system, but yet recognizable to cause people of his own. And so, the Bible said, he said, he let them out. He let them out. He let them out. Performed wonders and signs in the land of Egypt. Now you can put your nation there. He led your people out. He led Faith Embassy out. He led America out. He led whatever nation you're part of, he led them out with signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. He led them to the Red Sea. Right now we are in the a very difficult time, and perhaps I will say it is our personal Red Sea where he's taking us across the nation of the world. Each nation is going through their own personal Red Sea. Each nation is being tested to show themselves. Each nation is closing up their borders, closing up the gates. That is so prophetic because the gates of humanity have been opened and demonic sources have been attacking the gates. And God said the gates must close. Perhaps there's a gate in your family that's been opened. Perhaps there's a gate in your community that's been opened. Perhaps there's a gate in your household that's been opened. And God says, causing you, not everybody else or anyone else, but you who live in that community, you who live in that nation, to close the gates that other foreign spirits, other foreign power will not come and intervene. And surely, after he caused the gate to close, he will surely open it again. Say 40 years in the wilderness. They give a date, say 40 years. Some of you, they have given, as I said here, about three Sundays ago, by the grace of God, as the Lord gave me a prophetic revelation that, that many will go into a lockdown. Amen. And, and, and they already started in many countries. Some countries are 30 days. Some countries are one year. We have seen one year. Imagine a nation under, <laughs> under, under, under lockdown for one year. And that's what God is doing this season because there's some nations that's very stubborn, don't know God. And there's some people that don't know God and God has to lock them down. And when God is doing this, 
You remain in prayer. Remain in communication with other people who believe in your faith. Call upon them. Pray among with them. Let there be an encouraging among us. Let there be an encouraging among us. 40 years, that's what they spent. Here, the, the government is giving few people, you know, six months, three days, well, not three, three, three months, excuse me, three weeks. Some is uh, 20 days. Some countries don't even have 20 days. Because the economy is so bad or the health system is so bad that they cannot take 20 days. They must take more than 20 days. They must take a year. Because if issues enter into the land, it will wipe out a whole people. So the precautions are taken already by nations. Signs in the land of Egypt at the Red Sea. Signs at the Red Sea. We should be looking at signs. Not looking at the numbers on the, the TV that is causing us to be afraid. We should look at the signs before us. Know what signs are around you. Know what signs are around you. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 28, he says, God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. When there is a multiplication, there is also to be taken away. God has to take you away first, and then you multiply. God taking you away, then you multiply. So in this season, for all those who are married and you don't have children, God will take you away, and then you come back again, multiply. I feel the anointing. Somebody watching this program, they're about to multiply. You're about to have that beautiful baby. You're about to go to the place that God has called you to be in. You will multiply. And so he said, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. And fill the earth. Subdue it. Rule over it. Rule over the fishes of the earth. The fish of the sea. And the birds of the hair. And every creature... That grows upon the earth. So God is giving us dominion. Dominion means to dominate. God is giving you and I to dominate. To cause a new thing to materialize, to happen. He said, God blessed them and said to them. God blessed them in 2020, the year of unstoppable favor. Where God could have wiped out the whole humanity. And God said, I'll give them unstoppable favor. I'll give them unstoppable favor. I will favor them. I will bless them, says the, the Lord. And I will multiply them. And I'll cause them to be fruitful and to multiply. I want everyone who is listening and those who are watching to say, I am fruitful and I'm multiplying. I am fruitful and I'm multiplying. I am fruitful and I'm multiplying. And those who are watching, after you write, I'm fruitful and multiplying, declare over your life that you are taking dominion. Declare that in this season that you are taking dominion. Say, as for me and my house, we are taking dominion. We are taking dominion over all the fishes in the sea and the birds of the hair. That in any fly, any virus in the hair, you take dominion. Any fly in the hair, you take dominion. Because God has given you the grace to dominate over powers of darkness in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the ground or in the hair. God has given you in the sea or in the land or in the hair. God has given you to dominate. Say subdue. Subdue means to come and arrest. I pray for someone who is watching this. You're about to arrest that stronghold that be tormenting you. You're about to arrest that supernatural strong power that been holding your family in bondage. Because today is your day for you to bounce out, come out, pull out to a place where you could be called multiplying. Be called fruitful. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Genesis chapter 9. The book of Genesis chapter 9 verse 1. And it says, and God blessed Noah. 
and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth. God has not brought us into a place of flood. But God has brought us in a place of pandemic. But he's still saying, the house of God, the people of God, they shall be multiplied. They shall subdue. They shall be fruitful and multiply. For somebody watching this, you are about to multiply in every area. After you come out of this, you're about to sense a new life that you never thought was possible. And God bless Noah and his sons. And God bless us and bless the people of faith embassy. So therefore, everyone that is under my voice, I decree and declare that you be fruitful and that you will multiply in the name of Jesus. Because it is your season. It is your time. About a few, almost a month ago, God gave us a, a prophetic word says, it's about that time. And people didn't understand what God was saying. But now you understand why God is saying it's about that time. You will now know why God was talking about in the same series, double favor. It's about that time. It's about the time when you wake up and recognize who your God is. It's about the time when you begin to recognize that you are not alone. You are not alone. You didn't create yourself. God created you. He called you out of the darkness of time. And he brought you into this marvelous light. You're not alone. He's with you. So God bless Noah. Put your name on it. Put your name on it and your son. Or your daughters. Put your name on it. And he calls you to be what? Be fruitful and multiply. That means that in this season, what afflicts others will not afflict you. In this season, what will make others feel like they are nothing, it will not be for you. You will feel that everything you have, there will be enough in your fridge. You will have to relax. You will be at peace. You are in the position and a season where you've never experienced peace like this before. And God said, he said, because I bless you and I bless your children. I bless you. I bless your husband. I bless your father. I bless your mother. I bless you so you can increase the earth. I will multiply them. I will multiply them, says the Lord. In the book of Jeremiah 13, verse 19, it says, Thanksgiving will, produce, will proceed from them. You come to a position where you will thank God just to be alive. There are people now just to breathe. They thank God. There's some people too, just to sneeze. You thank God. There's some people just to cough. You thank God. Because you never could do this before. There's some people healing that just come upon your body that you never thought would be before. God said, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving will come out of their mouth. You will thank God just because he is God. You are in a place where you begin to worship. The atmosphere is raw. The, 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 the anointing is flowing around you. You're feeling the power. The anointing all over your body flowing. Whatever you do, keep that anointing. Keep that, that feeling. Because anything that is a desire has a passion. Keep the passion of Christ in your heart. Keep the passion of Christ in your heart so that he can radiate more of his anointing upon your life. That when the enemy set forth a plague, it will not come near you. When the enemy set forth an attack, it will not touch you. When the enemy declare that you will not live, that you stand up and say, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord, who will live in the land of the living and will not die. This is what God is doing this season. The thanksgiving will proceed from their mouth. A sound of celebration. We are coming into celebration. And I will multiply them. And they will not be. They will not be. They will not be deceased. God will not take you out. He said, I will honor them. And they will not be. They will be little. God said, there's some people where you used to work, 
when they relate to you, when all this is done, you will surely become the boss. When all this is done, God will elevate you. When people belittled you at this season of your life, you will not be belittled. At this season of your life, God has have, have elevated you in the times, in the realms, in the revelations. God has given you great insight, great wisdom. And that's why he has to lift you up. There's a lifting coming up to somebody. I said there's a lifting coming up to somebody. And it's not the plan of the enemy. It is the plan of God. It is not the wicked things of the enemy. But it is the blessed things of the Jehovah Jireh. The blessed things of the King of Glory. It's the blessed thing that God Almighty is cleaning up your life. But thanksgiving surely will proceed out of your mouth. You will surely give God praise. Now it's come to the point, it's by force. Before we used to say by fire, by force. Now by force you must praise God. Now by force you must pray. Now by force you must worship. Now by force you must sing praises. Now you must sing. Sound of celebration. So that I will multiply them and they will not be they will not be dis disgraced or removed or, 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 or brought down. See, God's people have been brought down. God's people have been brought down. So God said, I will not allow them to be belittled. And they will not belittle me. They're God. They must know that I'm their God. I'm the God that live in. And surely I'll show myself. Surely I'll show myself. When you believe your father for what he said he is, you don't question him. When you know who your father is, you don't worry about nothing else. You don't worry about the things that never worked. You don't worry about the people that left you. You don't worry about the fight that you're facing. You are at peace within yourself. You are at peace with your father. You are at peace with God. You will not be belittled this season. Hallelujah. God says, I will not cause them to decrease. I will not cause them to decrease. For they have my covenant. For they that know me, they know me as their God. And they know that they shall be strong. And they shall do exploits. So they know me by their covenant. I have made covenant with them. And they know me by name. So, I will honor them. Because they cry unto me, I will honor them. And when I honor them, they shall be honorable. They will not be related to the more great people. When you see a great man, you don't honor him. You believe to the fact that he's great. And you wonder why you're not going forward. Because you're belittling someone who's great among you. And God said, if you believe to the ones who have chosen, be it their younger. Be it their shorter, or their taller, or their older. If I've chosen them among you, do not believe to them. Because I can walk wonders around them. Wonders surrounding them. Wonders in their midst. In the book of Exodus, 7 verse 3. And I will hear Pharaoh and I will harden Pharaoh's heart, excuse me, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. There are some people whose hearts have been, have been hardened. Many of us, our hearts have been hardened. We are no longer happy. To come to the house of God, we don't want to. To do the will of God, we don't want to. To volunteer our time doing the things that God has called us, we don't want to. We'd rather stay home and enjoy. Now, God says, since you want to stay home, enjoy your bed. But while you're enjoying your bed, don't be bedridden. Don't be in the bed sick. <laughs> while you are in your bed, don't lay there for too long. Because if you lay there for too long, he might take you out. Because when he called, you didn't come. When he spoke to you, you didn't go. When he called upon your name, you didn't answer. 
and now you are locked in. Now you must answer. <laughs> now you must answer. Hallelujah. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. God is, 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 is increasing his signs and wonders even now in different land. Even now in different land, he's raising up his own and he's holding up the enemy's heart. Some of you, you have never been sick before. Some of you, you have never been hurt before. Some of you, you are all out. You are tired. You are sick and tired. But God said, I'm hardening your heart because I'm making signs and wonders. When I pull you out of it, you recognize me that I'm God. You recognize me that I'm your God. You will not, you will not go away from me. Who could pull you away from me? I have you in my hand. Who could take you away from me? None could take you away from me. You try all that you could do by yourself. Because I'm not going to let you just go. I let you to do whatever you wanted because I loved you. But I saw that if I let you go too far, you might destroy yourself. So I have to pull you back. And this is the pull. Sometimes the pulling. Cause us to have back pains. The pulling cause us to have migraines. The pulling cause us to have all manner of sickness in our body. But God is pulling his people. He's pulling his people. In the book of Genesis chapter 9 verse 7. And you will be fruitful and multiply. Bringing forth abundance in the earth. And multiply therein. God said, and you, and you, and you, you who's watching this, you who watch this later, and you, I will be, I will be with you, and you will be fruitful, and you will be multiplied, and I'll make you bring forth abundance in the earth and I will multiply therein I will use what you have in your hand and I will multiply from therein hallelujah I want us to wherever you are if you're in your bed I want you to stand up if you're sitting down I want you to stand up wherever you are I want you to stand up I want you to stand up as we enter into prayer I want you to stand up. In the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 13. He said, Who satisfy your years with good things? Who satisfy your years with good things? So that your youth is renewed like the wings of eagle. God said, and we look in the book of Psalm, that's Psalm 103, verse 5. We look in Job chapter 8, verse 13. It says, Sure is the destiny. Such is the destiny of all who, for, who forgive God, who forget God. He says, The hope of the godless will perish. The hope of the godless will perish. In the book of Psalms 103, 103, verse 5 said, It said, Who satisfy your years with good things, with good things, so that your youth is renewed. Like the like the weak like the eagle. God said, I want to renew you. But I want to satisfy your life. I want to satisfy your years with good things. Satisfy your years with good things. But you have to first. First come. But when you don't come, Job 8, verse 13 said, Such is the destiny of who, of all who forget God, the hope of the godless will perish. We are going to ask God. Father, satisfy our years with good things. And renew our life like the eagle. Lord, our God, satisfy our years with good things. And renew our life 
like the wings of eagle. Amen. Renew us, O oh God. Yes, renew us, O oh God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Renew us, O oh God. Man seketeli apara. Rekesi la pakosa lada. Man kayala bilatori ekete. Rekiza para so pekeliya. Rebele konse veleliya thale. Father, renew us, O oh God. Renew us, O oh God. Renew us, O oh God. Lord, you satisfy our years with good things. Lord, we thank you, O God, that you are satisfied our years with good things. Father, renew us, O God. Renew us, O God. Renew us, O God. In the name of Jesus. Lipaka segede. Repeko sila pataya. Lipata yebila kata. Lepetele ya talabara. Repetele ya talagaduza. Rapia pa. Ramia Taya, Le Pelegesuli Paladia, Re Kayaban Santa Gala, Re Kedeveri Pasa Kata, Le Papa Rakedeveri Vasayanaba, Re Pekedevera Payagaria, my father, my maker, we do us, O God, 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 in the name of Jesus, Le Peketelea Paladia, Re Kata Kataya Labadia. Mi para que te revele para María, re pere que te revela para nada, re cata cata ya cata, re que te que te revele que te haya lava, re calla baba la bala bala bala. My father, my maker, renew us, O oh God. Renew us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Liberi biya thala ya thali, reke thali bila pagadusa, reka ta kai ya bala labari, reke ke thali bila palagada, mansi kala ba dili ni basanda. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, according to your word, in the book of Psalms, one hundred and five, one hundred and three verse five, you said you satisfy our years with good things so that our youth can be renewed like the wings of eagle. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for satisfying our years with good things. Lord, according to your word, in the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 13, you said, such is the destiny of all who forget God. The hope of the godless will perish. Father, let our 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 hope not be perish. Lord, let our hope not be perish. Lord, let our hope not be perish. We never forget you. Lord, we have never forgotten you. Lord, we have never forgotten you. Lord, let our hope not be perish. Let our hope. Not be perished. Hallelujah. Let our hope, O oh God, yes, in the name of Jesus, name let of our Jesus. hope yes, not be perished. In the name of Jesus, let our hope not be perished, my Father, my Maker, in the name of Jesus. Let not our hope, let it not be perished. Let the hope of mankind not be perished. Let the hope of your people not be perished. Let the hope of your sons not be perish uh, let the hope of your daughter uh, not be perish uh, let the hope of your grandchildren uh, not be perish uh, my father my maker uh, let your hope uh, in humanity uh, let not uh, your hope perish uh, in 
Mi pedía tacalaba y le vea. Recata calaba y le vea sobre. Le peque le ve la parada de esa. For your hour has come. Let that your hope be shifted unto us of God. For perish. Lord, we shall not perish. But we shall flourish. We shall flourish in your kingdom. We shall flourish in your head. We shall flourish in your head. We shall flourish in your head. We shall not perish by the authority of the Almighty. We are under your canopy. Yes, Lord. We shall not perish. We shall not perish. We are living the land of the living. We are we are living the land of the living. We shall not be the land of the dead. We shall not be the land of the dead. No virus will take our lives. No virus will touch you. No virus will touch your family. We are living the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Maker. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, that we are living the land of the living. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, live with the living and the dead. Live with the living and the dead. Rafa Kayaraba Dalangali, live with the living and the dead. Resisa Pakasulia, Rafa Yaba Sikidiapa, live with the living and the dead. Live with the living and the dead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our next prayer. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 29. And the Bible said, He is the one who gives might to the faint. Renew the strength of the powerless. Our next prayer, Lord, you are the one who gives might Amen. so that we don't faint. Amen. You give us strength because our body has lost its strength. Amen. Our prayer, oh God, oh God, for those who are in the hospital, for those who are in the hospital, give them strength, give them strength. For those who are in the hospital, for those who are in the hospital, give them power, give them power. For those who are in the hospital, for those who are in the hospital, awaken them, awaken them, heal them, heal them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, God. for the doctors, for the doctors, give them strength, give them strength, Lord, Lord. for the nurses, for the nurses, give them strength, give them strength, Lord, Lord. for the health workers, for the health workers. Give them strength. Give them, strength. Give them power. Give them power. Give them healing. Give them healing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Le peketele ya paragatua. Re kajaba seketele mila paragadea. Re kaba sanda daba re ketele. Le presusi kaparare katala. Re kajaba seketele mila paragadoa. Re ketele mila paradosi kala prenda dosa. Le pele ya pakata ya la bandele ketua. Re kasi para kansele bekosa. Si se pase lia pa calovea, re que te le ve le para ganea, re pa ya para ganea. Fada, you are the one who gives might. You are the one who gives might to them in a new faith. You are the one who renew them that are who want to be renewed. You are the one who strengthen them that want to be strengthened. God, you are the one who give them power who have lost the power. Oh God, our Maker, renew us, oh God, strengthen us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, le peketele la palada, re sakata ya la bandele ketia, le pele bela palagadi ha, re pa re kala bala kala bansi kedi, re pa ya la bala bala dia la sakada, le pele bela parogo silata, re si se kalo bela ta, re ketele bela parogo desa, re sa pa kala bandele ya kati. Lord, you are the one ha, who keep healing ha, you are the one ha, who strengthen it ha. You are the one huh, who brings us out of darkness huh, into light. Le peke tele ya parura, rasisa kata ya bande ya, reke tele be la palo zilata, la peke le be la tobi ya palo mi, le zakaya bande kuli ya kadi ya ba, 
Le pete de le brequete de la bagaja. Requete de bele parada no le paga toa. Recaia la van sequetea. Recaia la van sequete. Le peco sequetea. Pete de bele parada dosa. Requete de bele paga dosa. Recata bada gata. Requete de bele parada de. Hada! In the name of Jesus. You are the one who strengthens. You are the one who heals. You are the one who restores. You are the great God. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the God Almighty. We bless your name for renewing us. A mighty renewal. A mighty mercy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our next prayer comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 17. Amen. It says, the wicked, will re re the wicked will return to Shiloh. All the nation, all the nations that forgot God. We are going to say in this month of March, yes, all who have forgotten God has come. Amen. All who have forgotten God has come. Amen. All who have forgotten God has come. Amen. To recognize Him as God. Yes, Lord. We are going to pray. Oh God, oh God, have mercy. Have mercy. Oh God, oh God, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, Lord, bring your people. Bring your people. Bring your people. Bring your people. Of our nation. Of our nation. Bring, them bring them. To be healed. To be healed. Bring them. Bring them. To restore. To be restored. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them, oh Father. Bring them, oh In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Le la bante Goliath. Reke si parakata. Le palabanze que de la parada, le pecosi la paragade, le sabrosi catagado, re que te de bele bracata y la via, pan si veri la corte bele tua, re que si la paradosa, le pacasele a parona, re que de la pasoliata, le paya la bande que tua, le paya la bande le gata. Father, even the wicked deserve mercy, even those. Who are doing wicked things? It's not a second chance. Amen. It shall return back to you. Amen. The murmurers shall return back to you. Amen. The gossipers shall return back to you. Amen. The fornicators shall return back to you. Amen. The workers of iniquity shall return back to you. Amen. Oh God, yes, wash us clean. Yes. Wash them clean. Amen. Restore us. Amen. Renew them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Rese que te leve la paragadoria, resa cantaia la bandeira caluba, reca para que te leve la parosa, si le pele que le ve la paloia cala, la pa que le ve la paragadoria pasada, re que te le ve la paragadoria pasada, pa re que te le ve la paragadoria, le pele ve la sarebi cantora, re que te le ve la paragadoria pa, re que te le ve la paragadoria la matosia, re que te le ve la paroba la sila de ver. Para kata ele be a paro, reke tele a para gadosia. Lisa kata ele be a na boca, reke tele be a para gadosia. Rasa tele a paroma, reke tele be a prosa. Rasi la katobia, reke tele a talebia. Rasi tele be a te, reke tele be a para. Rasi la para gadia. Father, for you save them. You didn't come for the perfect. You didn't come for the perfect. You come for the imperfect. The one you get to walk on, the one you get to move, the one you get to heal. Oh Lord, our Father, Lord, heal them, heal them that are not perfect, heal them that have been forgotten, heal them that believe in you, heal them that call your name. In the past, in the Riyakatoa, in the Bekuzi Palagade La Bandi, the Penebila Sata Galagaria, the Ketelebila Pakosi La Taira, the Kataya La Bandi. Rekete lebe doa, reba kala ban sekete ya, rekete rekete le ya kata, le pa ya ban sekete lebe la parora, rekete lebe la paraga do rekete, ra 
Father, help your people, restore your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father, my maker, in the name of Jesus, restore your people, restore your people, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Isaiah 55, verse 11. Lord. And there the Lord said, so will, so will my words be switched, go forth from my mouth, it will not return to me empty without accomplishing what I desire, without succeeding in the matters from which I sent it. Our prayer is, Lord, your word that you have spoken to us, they are not void. Your word that you said will multiply them. The word that you said will restore them. The word that you said will bring us into order. You said your words will not fall to the ground. And Lord, we ask, so God Almighty, that your word are sharpening and they're quickening. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your words, Your words will, come to pass will come to pass in my life. In my life. What you have pronounced. 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 Of my life. Of my life. What you have decreed. What you have decreed. Of my life. Of my life. It will come to pass. Will come to pass. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. Concerning the matters of my life. The matter of my life. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. Concerning the matter of church. The matter of church. And the people of God. God, and the people it will come to pass. It will come to pass. Lord, God. you said you restore us you said you will according return. to your word. According to your so, word. Lord, Lord, let your word come to pass. Let your word come, let to, your word come to pass. Let your word come, let your word come to pass. Let your word we bring it to remembrance. 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 For your word, for your word, to come to pass. To, come to, pass. to restore your people. To restore your people. To restore your people. To, restore your to people. heal your people. To heal your people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Those who are watching, open your mind and pray. Open your mind and pray. Let the Lord restore you. 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 Let the Lord renew you. Our prayer comes from the book of Romans, chapter 8. Romans, chapter 8, verse 29. Romans, chapter 8, verse 29. And there it tells us, For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to become, to be conformed to the image of his son. Hallelujah. So that he would be the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. God decree and declare, Father, yes, you foreknew me. Yes, Lord. Father, you foreknew me. Hallelujah. I am among yes, your Lord. image. Amen. I am among yes. those who you have called many. Amen. Many brethren. Hallelujah. I am among Hallelujah. many brethren. Hallelujah. With the anointing yes, of my life. Yes, I am among Hallelujah. many 
Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am among them. 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 Who we have called brethren. Who we are called brethren. According to your word, in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 29, you have decreed and declared that I am predestined. He has also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. I am predestined. Those who are watching, I want you to write this word and decree that you are predestined. I want you to write this word and decree that you are predestined. And decree that you are predestined. Say, I am predestined by the power of the Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, I am predestined. I am predestined by the power. Father, 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 Hallelujah. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. And the Bible says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, so that we would walk in them. Man. Walk in them so we could walk in them. Our prayer point. Hallelujah. Lord, we are your workmanship. Lord, we are your workmanship. You have created us in Christ. We have created us in Christ. Beforehand. Beforehand. Lord, Lord. As you have created us. As you have created us. Beforehand. Beforehand. You will not destroy us now. You will not destroy us. You will not destroy us now. You will not destroy us now. You have created us beforehand. You will not destroy us now. You are too good to fail us. You are too faithful to break us. You are too faithful to fail us. So, Father, we thank you that you have taken us into your canopy. You have taken us into your wings in the name of Jesus. For we are your workmanship. We are in Christ. We are in Christ. We are in Christ. Lord, my maker, you know us for the beginning of time. You know us for the beginning of time. In the name of Jesus. For we are your workmanship. You have created us in Christ for good works. Lord, let us do the good work which you have promised us. Let us do the good work which you have promised us in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Rekabaka Sekedea, Le Peketo Brikedaba, Rasendo Rivida Kodia, Le Payaka Tapura, Rekayabanda Labadua, Rekayabala Tayala 
लिया था मानते पहले घोसिला रेत के चले बिना थोलिया ले पाया बाल से कितोश पूरा पेके ले बिना थोलिया ले पाये लिया पातू पे रेत के चले या परोसा सायो पाते या पकुआ रेत का या बाल सा खाने रेत के चले बिना काला बाया रात पा काला बाया रेत के चले बिना पा रेत पाया ना बाल से किया रेत के चले बिया पाया रेत के चे बारो रसिकाया बांधो भी कितने रफे के लिए या पारो भी कथा रेख के चले बिला पारो रा राधा या बांधो रे या कथो रेख के चले बिला पाला गले हा रफा या पाला पाला गले हा पांच से फिर ये राता पांच से फिर ये कथा या पांच से फिर ये कथो आ पांच से फिर ये गले भी आता ले फिर ये पाला गले हा रेखा था गाता गले हा रफा पाला गले हा फ Minnesota, down to Georgia, Lord. Clean up your nation. Clean up your people. Rick in the middle of Paragania. Lord, send forth your rain. Your rain. Let it clean the whole land. Send forth your rain. Your precious anointing. Let the cloud of the enemy shift. Let the cloud of the enemy shift. Let your glory fall down. Lepelia kata. Lepelia paradua. रेपेरिया पराजा रेखाया लबां से किया लेपेरिया पराजरिया ए जीसस ने मुब्रे अमन आवर नेक्स्ट प्रेयर एंड आवर लास्ट प्रेयर हालेलुया कम फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ जेरेमिया चैप्टर 17 वर्स 10 अमन आई द लॉर्ड सर्च द हार्ट आई टेस्ट द माइंड Even to give each man according to his way, according to the result of their deed. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Amen. use me, O oh God, yes, Lord. according to your way. Amen. Use me, O oh God, yes, according to your will. Hallelujah. Begin to decree and declare. Use me according to my deeds. Use me according to my days. Use me according to my will. Use me according to your ways and your will. Your ways and your will. Use me, O God. Use me, O God. According to your will. According to your ways. According to your will. According to your ways. Lord, search my heart. You test the mind. Lord, you have searched the heart of your people. You have touched. You have searched the mind of your people. They have gone astray, but they are coming back. They are coming back. They are coming back. You have tested their mind. They are coming back. Lord, use us according to Your will, according to Your way, according to Your will, according to Your will, according to Your way. In the name of Jesus, le prekosila, le paya ba zekedia, re ba sikala ba dedia, le paya ba kat zakadoa, rapekele bela paragadia. Lisa katuwa. 
Le payaba se gedea. Alléluia. La sacata ya la ba. La pacala ba se gedea. Repacan se que tiene bela para gare. Le papara catea. Rebasti carabande. Repito de la palorea te. Le payaba de la de. Rasi carabata ella. Le prosi carabande a le. Le zata ya la bia tolea. Rese que tiene bela para gare. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's release thankfulness. Thank you, Jesus. That's release thankfulness. Thank you, Lord. Let's thank the Lord right thank now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For His word that He released unto us. Thank you, Father. Let's thank the Lord right thank now. Thank you, Lord. Thank for His will that He released unto us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. the Lord right now. Thank you. For our prayer Lord. that been answered. Thank Thank the Lord right now Hallelujah. for healing you right now. Hallelujah. Father, I pray you touch them. Thank you. I pray you are going to touch them. We thank you. I pray that your break. We thank you. I pray that you're working with them in strength and in fire. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Move among your people. Amen. Move among your people. Amen. Move among your people. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Move among your people. Hallelujah. Change their story. Hallelujah. Break their you. Hallelujah. Break their you. Hallelujah. Change their story. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we adore you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want us to worship for one or two songs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want us to just sing a song. Some of you who are part of this ministry and those who are not part of this ministry, I believe by the repetition of the song, you're able to catch it and yeah. sing along with us. Hallelujah. We're just going to have to praise God. Amen. Amen. La prosaka to In all the world, Holy Spirit, you reign. In all the world, Holy Spirit, you reign. You reign, you reign. Holy Spirit, in all, in all the world, the world. Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, Holy Spirit, you reign, Holy Spirit, you reign, you reign, Holy, Holy Spirit, you reign, in America, you reign, you reign, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you reign. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are. 
in our family. You are. You are. In our family. All is prayers. You are. In our world. In world. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are in all the world. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are in all the world. You are, you are. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are in all the world. In all the world. Holy Spirit, you Holy Spirit. Abba Father, you reign. Abba Father, you reign. You reign, you reign. You reign, you reign. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will bless you and we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you wake you up this morning, thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you give you a For fresh start, thank you, Lord. You Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For being disease-free. For being sickness-free. For restoring the land. Hallelujah. That much madness has ended. Yeah, yeah. Much madness has ended. Hallelujah. The mental capacity of wicked plan of the enemy will not continue. Hey, Amen. The madness of much have ended. Hey, Amen. The madness of much have ended. Hey, Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any madness in people's life has yes, ended. Lord. Hey, man. The yoke of madness has ended. Hey, man. The yoke of that disease has ended. Hey, man. The yoke of that virus has ended. Hey, man. In the name of Jesus. Hey, man. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you for those who are watching us online. If you have the tithe that you're offering, you can go to www.faithembassyint.org. You can do so by giving your offering there. Uh, also, you can go to www.faithembassyint.org. Also, go to Cash App 3016487943. Cash out 301-648-943. You can do so, and God will richly bless you. Amen. I pray for you. As you have released that seed, I pray that God will bless you. God will enrich you. God will elevate you. God will take you out of this. This too, you shall pass. This too shall come out. 
you shall come out of this. This too shall pass on and it shall flow out of your life. The disease will not touch you. The health issues that the end wants to release this year will not manifest in your life. You are blessed. Your family is blessed. You are covered. Your family is covered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I love you from the house of Faith and Blessing International Ministry of Blessed Church. For me and my wife, we say God bless you 